of a Knoxville apartment complex is promising to eradicate an infestation of roaches and ants. Yeah, they invaded the apartment of a disabled woman who cannot exterminate yeah. the bugs herself. Well, two weeks ago, WATE six on your side consumer investigator Don Dare was invited mm. to visit that apartment. Yeah. Don, mm, what did you darn. see? Well, it was really bad. Roaches were everywhere, especially under and around the lady's bed, and you'll see that in just a moment. Cockroaches carry bacteria that can contaminate food and make you sick. They can cause food poisoning, diarrhea, and staph infections. Contrary to popular belief, you do not get cockroaches in your home because of poor housekeeping. What we discovered at Donna Flynn's apartment, it was clean, except for the bugs. Donna Flynn is a paraplegic following a car wreck some 18 years ago. With little income, she moved into English Manor apartment complex in North Knoxville earlier this year. But Donna says roaches and an army of ants recently invaded her tiny space. This is a bunch of roaches that Donna's been dealing with. They're all around the bed and they're crawling everywhere. Grover Broyles is Donna's friend. You got roaches here and then you got roaches. Okay. Look, look right here. They're ungodly at times. I mean, they're all over the walls, ceiling, all over the food. When cockroach numbers are left unchecked, the population grows rapidly. Cockroaches can carry pathogens that may cause disease. Ordinarily, a pest control company would be contacted before the population reached these levels. And the smell that we're smelling is mothballs, and mothballs ain't going to kill roaches. Who put the mothballs here? The maintenance man. Built nearly 40 years ago, English Manor is showing its age despite recent remodeling by its owner, Jason Hodges. Two weeks ago, we contacted Mr. Hodges, who said he is short of manpower. He said it's difficult to keep maintenance men, but Hodges assured us he will have Miss Flynn's apartment fumigated. I would like a better place of living. You want a better place to live in? Right. Six on your side got in touch with Knoxville's codes department. An inspector discovered several violations. The city ordered the complex be fumigated. <coughs> Ten days ago, Miss Flynn invited us back. Roaches were still crawling around. More dead roaches. There was some progress. There were lots of dead roaches. Oh, yeah. They're still, oh, Lord. Under and around the bed, however, was a different story. There were plenty of live bugs, ants, and roaches. They've come in and sprayed. Mm -hmm. How many times? I say the three or four. Three or four times, but they still haven't gotten rid of all the roaches. Mm -mm. He's doing the best he can, but it's, it's like right now. They sprayed and they're running all over the place. Lucy Dugan's brother lives in English Manor. Like Miss Flynn's place, she said other apartments are infested as well. But since our first visit, Ms. Dukin said an effort is underway to eradicate the bugs. It was a nightmare, so yeah. I'm glad that he is doing what he can, but the, bug needs to, the bugs need to be straightened out. Oh, yeah, that's clean. Just the other day, we returned and found no ants or roaches under Donna's bed. Wow, it is really clean. Look at that. Apartment owner Jason Hodges told us he contracted with a local pest control company to fumigate not only Donna's apartment, but others in the complex, too. They came out and cleaned the cabinets? Everything. Everything. Within the last week, handymen removed all of Donna's belongings. They scrubbed down the apartment, vacuumed, and sprayed. When we checked again, we discovered the maintenance team did a good job. They even installed roach traps under Donna's bed and under the bed frame. While there were still a few live bugs, overall, Donna's pleased with the results. Every now and then you see the bugs. But it's better? A lot better. Yeah, Jason Hodges says operating and maintaining English Manor is a challenge. The owner said he's upgrading rooms constantly. For Donna, he made her apartment accessible for her needs. We saw those changes, especially in her bathroom. Also, Mr. Hodges said nearly half of the apartments in English Manor are occupied by former homeless people who once lived under the bridge in downtown Knoxville. And Lori and Kristen, we're glad that we could be of assistance and especially pleased that uh, Jason Hodges is 
taking some action in that apartment complex. We're so glad to hear that too. Yeah. That was yeah. definitely a terrible, terrible yeah, problem. It, it Big was, changes. Yeah, a lot of changes. All yeah. right. Let's thank hope you, they Don. can stay out of there. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, Don, thank you. If you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or you can call his six on your side hotline number 865-633-5974.